All right, for your consideration, we have the Sancho Lookout DED Unrated, uh, largest sip size unknown. Let's go. Yeah, last time we were in here, I remember there being a lot of frigates, a couple destroyers, which means we can easily do this in a frigate of our own. All right, so yeah, let's do a beeline to these guys, long range. Microwave, I know I can hit out to about 25. So let's go and just, yeah, let's just uh, lazily head towards the acceleration gate and lock up all these little dudes. Uh, we have some hard shells if we need, but we don't need them yet. Oh, are we going to start one-shotting frigates? At least two-shotting. And trust me, I am okay with that. Here we go. Oh, beautiful. Love it. Oh, he went in for a third shot. There we go. He's done. Log out some nor more nerds. Yeah, they're probably already. Yep. Definitely going to be in Gamma here pretty soon. Or Multi Freak, sorry. Let's switch to X Ray for Giggles. And we're just going to orbit 2500. All right, max range with X ray is about 15. So as soon as that's done, we're actually going to go back to microwave and we're actually going to start approaching things. If we approach, we'll bring down our transversal, which means we'll hit them harder, but they'll also be able to hit us harder as well. And if we're lucky, we start off doing things. I want to keep range, start keeping range 20. We double check. Are we cap stable? Uh, we're cap stable. We can keep our repper all day. Keep range from that 20. Right, we're going to keep range pretty much 20 from just about everything. And for those new bros that didn't know, if you set your default keep a range, it's going to remember that with each hull. So I can jump into another ship and it'll I can set that and it'll be completely different. Because not every scenario is going to require the same thing, nor ship or fit. Oop, that's the wrong thing. Boom, he's down. <clears throat> I think technically we can go and take the gate now. All right, here we go. All right, the Ravisher is gonna be the trigger here. I'm actually gonna do a beeline straight towards the control center, which will be the trigger for any potential escalation. Alright, so if we notice here, these two guys, transverse is still pretty high, except for this dude right now. Pretty solid hit. Cool. Should be able to hit the next guy. Drop our speed so we can still hit him. I think we're pretty much going to miss him there.
Nice. Alright, lock up some more things. One guy we left behind is actually catching up. Good for him, I guess. Love it. Love one-shotting things. We're going to keep an eye on the Ravisher. And for the center, we're just going to keep range. Alright, start doing some work on it. This moment, I don't think we need a Ripper. Come on. Oh, we didn't get it. That would have been the trigger for our escalation. That's fine. Hopefully this guy will actually be a trigger for True Sancho spawn. And then we're just going to go out to this guy next. Nope, don't think we got the spawn to spawn either. I keep range on this guy. Make sure we're going to shoot this guy. This happens to be a good target of opportunity. And this guy. Nice. So go out to this guy next. Actually, a lot of Veldspar in here. If anybody wishing to do some mining? Starbase shields, buckers, buckers, buckers. I just make sure there was no other thing to really shoot. And we got these four. I guess we'll just kill them. And no true Sancho here, so. Let's shoot this remaining four or three. Two more. One more. There we go. Uh, there you have it. That would be the Sancho Lookout. DED site unrated. 